Hello, in this video we'll have a look on what is a tenant point deployment of SharePoint Framework extensions capability and how you can take uh, advantage of that one when you want to extend your SharePoint online deployment. So we're going to use a, an existing sample which is available for you as an open source solution. So if you go to the SP DevDocs uh, repository in a GitHub under SharePoint organization, you can find uh, the global footer, uh, folder. And in the global folder, uh, folder uh, you can actually find the solution and the more additional details of what's happening when the solution is getting uh, updated or installed to your tenant. In our case, we can actually download the SPPKG file directly and we're going to then install this file uh, to our tenant. So I'm going to download that one. Let's actually open up uh, that uh, in a folder. I'm going to go to my tenant and I need to be a tenant administrator to make this happen because or a tenant administrator have to have given me the permissions to deploy this uh, customizations to my tenant. So I'm going to track and drop that SPPKG file inside of my tenant and that's going to then uh, prompt me to grant the needed permissions. And in here you can actually see that this package contains, there's an additional message here uh, which is saying that this package contains an extension which will be automatically enabled across sites. Note, you need to checkbox or check uh, this checkbox to be able to this capability, uh, to enable this capability within your tenant. So let's actually deploy that. And what happened here was that we actually added automatically based on the code which is inside of the SPPKG file, we added an entry to this tenant-wide deployment list which is basically telling SharePoint that whenever we are rendering a site in a SharePoint Online, a modern experience in a SharePoint Online, we kind of include this extension uh, inside of that uh, rendering uh, of the page. And we could filter that based on a web template. In this case, this is going to be actually enabled for all SharePoint framework modern experiences. So a classic site with a modern experience or modern page or a, a modern site. In this case, this is a group associated theme site. If I'm going to refresh this one, we can actually see that uh, we have now a new customization available, which is the footer here uh, on the on the button, uh, which has a, a few buttons and, and a slogan of the company. What's interesting about this extension also is that you can actually configure that. So you can go here and you can uh, select this item. You can uh, edit the item here as well. So if, as an example, if we want to modify uh, the, the definition of the uh, of the company it to be Contoso, electronic electronic uh, train sharing is caring uh, or update any of the links uh, or update the icons visible for the links we can actually do that directly using the component properties so this modifies the instance or the, the definition how do we render the component the icon values are obviously UI fabric icon values and there is a title and then there's the URL uh, where we actually want to pinpoint when a user clicks that uh, button. You can also filter uh, the, the existence of this one, for example, to a modern team site without a group or, for example, to a communication site. In this case, again, we don't have any filters here. So that means that uh, the same modification, which you can see here, Contoso Electronic, now updated, is available in group associated sites. There we go, uh, you can see the modification available and it's also available in the communication site. So now if I refresh this communication site, you can actually see that the, the uh, functionality is available there. And obviously if you go to a SharePoint or anybody creates a new SharePoint site within the tenant, so let's actually do that as well. So let's create a communication site, let's create a showcase site, let's call this a showcase. Um, and that is available. Uh, creation of a modern site takes only a few seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, and here we go. And we can see that our extension is automatically available. And that's because we're taking advantage of this tenant-wide deployment of extensions. So basically you can now see the button or the standard footer available in here with a, a slogan of the company as well. Now, if this, if you want to utilize this within your deployment, you can easily do that by downloading the SPPKG file and modifying the buttons and URLs and the slogan to match your company or match your deployment. If you want to uh, have a look on the source code, that's absolutely available uh, in the in the uh, in the uh, GitHub as well. So you can actually have a look on how it's being implemented. It is using React uh, components. So uh, a global folder, and here we go. It is actually uh, using a React uh, Office UI React components and rendering them the, the input out uh, input using those. So we're taking advantage of the combo, combo, common par contextual menu item 
um, and a few additional other components. Now, relatively simple thing, you can modify the implementation if needed, uh, you can modify the configurations if needed, but if nothing else, you can also test this by downloading the SPPKG file, install that to your tenant, and see how the tenant wide extension actually work in your case. So extremely convenient way for getting customizations deployed across all of the sites within your tenant. Thank you.